Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over a step-by-step -step guide I created to help you plan for your EDC Las Vegas trip. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm Cotton Candy, I travel the world attending music festivals and post-festival vlogs, reviews, and tips right here on my channel. So if this is your first time going to EDC and you have no idea where to start, or if you've been before but everything went totally wrong and you just want to plan things better this year, I put together this step-by-step -step guide to help you plan your EDC trip. However, I don't go into too much detail on each step, this is just to show you like your different options, and then you can dive deeper into the planning process once you've gotten started. Depending on how many people are in your group, it could greatly affect your choices you make for the rest of the planning process. If you're going in a big group of people, usually the trip can be a lot cheaper because costs are being split among several people. If you're going by yourself, awesome. Um, I don't think anyone should miss EDC just because they don't have someone to go with. It may even be worth reaching out on social media to see if anybody else is going by themselves and maybe wants to be roommates. EDC is all about making new friends, so don't be shy. The sooner you buy tickets, the cheaper they are, and they do have a layaway plan, so the sooner you start that, the less your monthly payments will be. EDC offers three different types of festival tickets, General Admission, General Admission Plus, and VIP. Right now, general admission is $339 plus $90.90 in taxes and fees. That totals up to $429.90. The layaway plan for general admission is $59.99 down plus six monthly payments of $63.32. General admission plus is $519 plus $110.90 in taxes and fees. That totals up to $629.90. The layaway plan for General Admission Plus is $74.99 down, plus six monthly payments of $94.15. VIP is $779, plus $120.90 in taxes and fees, and that totals up to $899.90. The layaway plan for VIP is $99.99 down, plus six monthly payments of $134.99. Keep in mind that depending on when you're watching this video, the prices may be different. Decide how long you're going to be in Vegas. Are you going for just the festival, so maybe like Friday through Monday, or do you plan on staying in Vegas a little longer? Personally, I like to go for about a week, because I like to sightsee Vegas and enjoy the other EDC week events like meetups, clubs, and pool parties. Figure out how you're getting to Vegas. You obviously have to figure out how you're getting to Vegas, Nevada, where EDC is held. Depending on where you live, you're probably going to be flying or driving. If you live in a different country, you're probably going to fly. If you live in America, you may be able to drive to Vegas. I know a lot of people in surrounding states will drive. However, America is so big, I'm sure a lot of people are still flying. Like driving from the East Coast to Vegas is totally doable. It might just take two or more days to get there, so maybe flying is still the better option for you. For those of you who are interested in flying, I will create a separate, very detailed video on booking the best flights, so please subscribe and keep an eye out for that one. Figure out where you're going to stay while you're in Vegas. There are so many options, I guess it just depends on your budget and your interests. Most people will book a hotel on the Strip, which are so ridiculously expensive during EDC week, but depending on how far you book in advance, you can get them cheaper, and if you book far away from the Strip, you can get a better deal. The prices will vary depending on how many nights you're staying and which hotels you're looking at. I know Emma Capotis just posted a video on booking hotels for EDC, which is really awesome, so definitely check that out if you're interested in staying at a hotel. A lot of people will book Airbnbs on the Strip and in surrounding areas. Prices will vary, however, just like hotels, prices will be a lot higher during EDC week, and they'll also sell out really fast, so definitely book ASAP if you decide to go that route. EDC does offer camping. You cannot bring your own tent to Camp EDC. You have to purchase one of their pre-set up shift pods or you can bring your own RV. The Moon Glow shift pod is for up to four people and basically just includes the pod. The tier one ticket price is $999 plus taxes and fees. The layaway plan for the Moon Glow shift pod is $179.99 down plus six monthly payments of $174.99. The Desert Rose Shift Pod is for up to two people and comes with beds, linens, and pillows. The Tier 1 ticket price is $1,299 plus taxes and fees. The layaway plan for the Desert Rose Shift Pod is $199.99 down plus six monthly payments of $219.99. 
A spot for RV camping comes with a 15 by 50 plot and options for power hookups, water refills, and pump outs. The tier one price is $279 plus taxes and fees. The layaway plan for RV camping is $49.99 down plus six monthly payments of $49.99. Figure out how you're getting to the venue. If you're camping, you don't have to worry about getting to the venue because you'll be like right there. If you're staying on the strip or in a different area, um, you can either drive yourself, take an Uber or Lyft, or take one of the official EDC Las Vegas shuttle buses. Driving yourselves, whether you leave early or not, is always a nightmare in my opinion. I highly advise against it. However, it is one of the more cheaper options, I guess. Taking an Uber or Lyft can be a little bit more pricey, but if you're with a group of people and can split the cost, it can be more affordable. You can also take one of the official EDC Las Vegas shuttle buses that have different pickup locations on the strip. They haven't released the information about it for this year, however last year it was $90 for all three days. The general rule of traveling to the Speedway is the later you leave to get to the venue, the longer it'll take you to get there because of traffic. It doesn't matter if you're taking an Uber or driving or taking a shuttle bus, the earlier you leave, the quicker you'll get there because less people will be making that commute. For anyone out there who has the money and wants to skip EDC traffic, you can take a helicopter ride to and from the venue. Um, last year it was $500 per person one way and $850 per person round trip per day. It's a little pricey, but if you have the money for it, awesome. Start saving money. Probably one of the number one questions people always ask me is how much money should you save for EDC? And the answer is it literally just depends on your personal budget. Everybody's is going to be different. Some people will be on a really tight budget and some people will have an unlimited amount of money to spend and won't have to budget at all. Figure out what your personal spending budget is in addition to all of these main expenses and then start a savings plan on how you're going to have that much money saved before you head to Vegas in May for EDC. For anyone who's going to be on a really tight budget this year, I will be posting my EDC Las Vegas on a budget video very soon, so please subscribe and keep an eye out for that video in the near future. If you were struggling with your EDC plans, I hope this video helped you out. If you want me to elaborate on anything or if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome EDC Las Vegas videos coming in the future. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out, Girl Scouts.